we were asked if we would help with the local allotments and of course we said yes. Actually we were asked last November but it's been too wet every single week since then. People are especially anxious to get their plots planted right now, so we did finally go ahead yesterday. Unfortunately, it didn't go very well. Well, the ploughing went well. Henry and Flora did a brilliant job, with Flora walking in the furrow for the first time. Usually Henry has that role, but it's good to swap them about occasionally so they experience all the jobs involved. Now, the problem wasn't the horses or the ploughing or even the sogginess of the land. It wasn't too bad. No, nope, it was a combination of dodgy cameras and wind and the coronavirus, I suppose. We had hoped to include some interesting comments from the organisers and the onlookers and the locals, but this is what they sounded like. We really need a better mic. Poor Carol did her best in trying circumstances. And also, almost no one turned up to watch, which was a bit of a shame really, considering all the prep involved. We thought, with the schools closed at the moment, we might get some interested children, but they all stayed away. I guess that's down to the coronavirus. We all need to keep our distances these days, but there would have been plenty of room to watch, or say hello to the horses. Oh well, never mind. Catherine described the allotments here that are for this housing estate. We're in Rinrar East and there are 150 houses, so about over 300 residents. And this corner of the we're going to plough it up and divide it into allotments for the residents of Rinrar East. So some of the people here have bought their houses, some of the people are renting from county council, but they have an opportunity to have their own individual apartment, nice and spaced out uh, for a euro. And John was talking about community gardens in general and how they work locally. Tim and Sandra asked me to come along here to talk about community gardens. Okay. I'm, I'm really amazed. I've, re I've kind of heard whispers about this, but I'm amazed to come and see such a, a big area and, you know, it's so close to a community. I promise what they were saying was really interesting, but honestly, it was all lost to the wind, unfortunately. I wanted you to get an idea of how things are done here, so you could comment back about your own local setups, so we could compare notes, but perhaps another time when it's less windy. Look what I found. What have you found? It's, um, it goes inside an old iron. So you would heat this up in oh. the stove, put it inside the iron before you shirts but Perfect. it was in the ground. Excellent, you're a real treasure hunter. <laughs> we'll put this video up anyway just to show that communities in Ireland are still functioning and we'd still love to hear if allotments and community gardens are a thing in your area too.